Ever wondered about the term pulmonary hypertension, what it means and how it affects the body? Pulmonary hypertension, or pH for short, is more than just a mouthful of medical jargon. It's a condition that has a significant impact on the body, particularly the heart and the lungs. To break it down, pulmonary refers to the lungs, and hypertension is another term for high blood pressure. So, pulmonary hypertension is essentially high blood pressure that happens within the pulmonary arteries, the vessels that transport blood from your heart to your lungs. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Doesn't high blood pressure mean the heart is just working a bit harder? Well, yes, but the problem lies in the fact that this extra strain on the heart can lead to serious complications over time. But what causes this increase in pressure? It has to do with the blood vessels in the lungs. In pulmonary hypertension, these vessels can become thickened, narrowed, or even destroyed. Imagine trying to force a high volume of water through a narrow pipe. It's going to build up pressure, right? It's the same concept with blood flowing through these narrowed vessels in the lungs. This increased pressure and reduced blood flow make it harder for your heart to pump blood through the lungs, resulting in the heart muscle working overtime. Over time, this extra effort can cause the right side of the heart to enlarge and weaken, a condition known as right-sided heart failure. The tricky part about pulmonary hypertension is that it's not just a standalone condition. It can be caused by a variety of factors, from genetic conditions to other heart and lung diseases. It's a complex issue that requires careful management to preserve a person's quality of life. So in simpler terms, pulmonary hypertension is a condition that makes your heart work harder than it should. Now you might wonder what causes pulmonary hypertension? Well, the root causes of pulmonary hypertension, or pH for short, are quite diverse. One of the main culprits is heart and lung diseases. For instance, conditions like left heart disease, lung disease and chronic thromboembolic disease can lead to pH. These conditions alter the structure and function of the lungs and heart, causing high blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries. Now let's talk about blood clots. Blood clots in the lungs, also known as pulmonary emboli, can obstruct blood flow. This obstruction increases the pressure in the pulmonary arteries, which can lead to pH. Next on our list are certain genetic conditions. Some people may have a predisposition to develop pH due to their genetic makeup. This means that if someone in your family has been diagnosed with pH, you might be at a higher risk of developing it too. However, it's important to note that the most common form of pH is idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension. This is a bit of a mystery as the term idiopathic means the cause is unknown. It's a tricky one, as it just seems to appear without any clear underlying cause. It's also worth mentioning that age, certain medical conditions and a family history of the disease can all increase the risk of developing pH. These risk factors don't necessarily cause pH, but they certainly play a significant role in its occurrence. In essence, various factors can contribute to the development of pulmonary hypertension, some of which might be beyond our control. How do you know if you have pulmonary hypertension? What are its symptoms? Pulmonary hypertension, or pH for short, has a tricky way of making itself known. The symptoms of this condition tend to develop slowly, subtly sneaking up on those affected. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, which makes early detection crucial. One of the most common symptoms of pH is shortness of breath. It's not just a little panting after climbing a flight of stairs. No, it's a more persistent shortness of breath, often felt even during rest or light activities. This isn't a symptom to ignore or brush off as mere fatigue. It's a sign that your body might be working overtime to pump blood through narrowed or blocked vessels in your lungs. Alongside this breathlessness, you might also experience fatigue. This isn't your typical end-of-the-day tiredness, though. It's a pervasive exhaustion that doesn't seem to go away, even with a good night's sleep. It's as if you're running a marathon without even leaving your chair. Chest pain is another symptom that can surface. This isn't your average ache or discomfort. It's a pressing feeling, almost like someone is sitting on your chest. This can often be misinterpreted as heartburn or a pulled muscle. But in the context of pH, it's a red flag that shouldn't be ignored. Other symptoms may include a racing heartbeat or palpitations, swelling in your ankles or legs, and a bluish color to your lips or skin. It's important to remember that these symptoms can also be linked to other conditions, so don't jump to conclusions. Instead, see your doctor if you're experiencing these symptoms, especially if they're persistent. pH can be a daunting condition to face, 
but recognizing its symptoms early on can make a world of difference in managing it. So if you're feeling out of breath, overly tired or experiencing chest pain, don't hesitate to seek medical help. It might just be the first step towards managing this condition and improving your quality of life. Remember, recognizing the symptoms early can make a significant difference in managing this condition. Scene script. Pulmonary hypertension isn't just about high blood pressure in the lungs. It has several effects and risks associated with it. Imagine a river flowing freely. Now imagine if some boulders were placed in its path. The water would have to push harder to get past, right? That's similar to what happens in pulmonary hypertension. The blood vessels in the lungs become thickened, narrowed, blocked, or even destroyed, making it harder for blood to flow. This causes an increase in blood pressure within the lungs, and just like the river, the heart has to work harder to push the blood through. The strain is mostly felt on the right side of the heart. It's the section tasked with pumping blood to the lungs to get oxygen. When the pressure in the lungs is too high, the right side of the heart enlarges and becomes weaker over time. This can lead to a serious condition known as right-sided heart failure. But what makes someone more likely to develop pulmonary hypertension? There are several risk factors to consider. Age plays a role with the condition more common in adults than in children. Certain medical conditions can also increase the risk. These include heart and lung diseases, blood clots in the lungs, and certain genetic conditions. And similar to many other health conditions, family history also matters. If someone in your family has pulmonary hypertension, your risk of developing it may be higher. It's important to note that while pulmonary hypertension can be a life-altering condition, it doesn't mean life ends. Treatments are available to manage symptoms and improve quality of life. The key is to understand the risks, recognize the effects, and get the right treatment. Understanding the risks and effects of pulmonary hypertension is crucial in managing this condition. Now let's summarize what we've learned about pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension, or PH for short, is a serious condition where the blood vessels in the lungs become thickened, narrowed, blocked, or even destroyed. This causes an increase in blood pressure within the lungs, making it harder for blood to flow through them. As a result, the right side of the heart has to work harder, which can lead to it becoming weak over time. This condition is classified into five groups based on the cause. The most common form is idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, but it can also be caused by heart and lung diseases, blood clots, and certain genetic conditions. As for the symptoms of PH, they develop slowly and can include shortness of breath, but remember, these symptoms can be similar to other conditions, so it's crucial to seek medical advice if you're experiencing them. Now, it's important to note that while there is currently no cure for pH, there are treatments available to manage the symptoms and improve the quality of life. These treatments aim to slow down the progression of the disease and alleviate the strain on the heart. Risk factors for developing pH include age, certain medical conditions, and a family history of the disease. Complications can include right-sided heart enlargement and heart failure, but don't be disheartened. With proper management and treatment, many people with pH are able to lead fulfilling lives. Early detection and intervention are key, so don't hesitate to consult your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. In conclusion, pH is a complex condition that affects the heart and lungs. It's a condition that requires understanding, attention, and proactive management. Knowledge is power and understanding. Pulmonary hypertension is the first step towards managing it effectively.